Ready. It's almost time to go live. You gotta, you gotta work. You know tomorrow. what? You need to stop looking at chat. Let Shift Kicker yes. do that. She's awesome at it. Just do your thing. Mm. You gotta, you gotta work. Hey, Chin. <laughs> hey. Let's do this. Welcome back to Toon TV. Welcome back to Tin TV. It's Taco Trucker Tuesday. AB was trying to get a bomb panel. Got Craig DeHunter, Mr. Boswell, Chris Craft. Shit, a, 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 I, AB has monkey butt. Uh oh, monkey butt. Oh, there's some stuff for that. Yeah, you need to explain what monkey butt is because you guys have had it. Not That's me. a swamp. No. The swamp ass. Yeah, complete and total swamp ass. Swamp ass. Hmm. Oh, oh, frozen. Oh. Yes. Yes, Jim. Jim Thank you. You guys, you guys missed it twice in a row now. Oh my yes. God. Mm. I'm okay, you, have to explain, you have to explain it's rigged. yourself. It's kind of rigged. Yeah, rig. well. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> it's because Ben took the screen down and played the. It happens randomly. We got Mitch and then we got you, Jim. We got you and Mitch. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Lisa. Um, yeah. So the the deal is that the boys the boys uh, bet five bucks to see when Mr. Boswell freezes if he does, and he froze. Yeah. We're, really? we're early. early. We need to do the frozen song the next time. Oh, Jeff. I'll have to find that for next. I'm minute. trying to fix it. I have to quit the camera and reload it. And I'd like to welcome a lot of people in chat already. Um, oh, here comes AB. You guys want to start shouting out to everybody in chat? There's so many people you guys already Sissy K. Want to see home girl. Lisa Par Starry was here and Willow Hall really early on. Doc P says, I'm here for Bush Hog Boswell Bombs. That's way yes. Regina F. and Lisa Bama Buffet. Hello, hello. Jeff B. We hate Canada. Jeff, we, he still hates Canada. I don't know why. Yeah, yeah. so do I. We got Sissy K, Marla, uh, Lisa, Sharon Mercer. Buddy, Mercer. Yogurt. Like yogurt. Strawberry yogurt. Stingray. Don't subscribe, but please go subscribe. Got Lisa, <laughs> Miss Minder Sue, Debbie Lance, Papa Two Bears. Be charming. Interesting tidbits to eat. ZJ likes Canada, but it's never been there, Krista. Hit gal. That's why he likes it. Or she yeah. likes it. Or, she or they like it. it. Or it likes it. Whatever. You know. And <laughs> Stephanie, if you're out there, we love you. Oh, oh she's at the bar. At the elephant bar. <clears throat> or the kangaroo bar. Or whatever. Dilly dilly. Here's a new one. Opus, Opus Singer. That's a, I've not seen that one. What about Serenity Different. Asylum Acres? Good to see you. Oh, there you go. Hey, hey baby. Baby. Be charming. Oh, Cheryl Bright Horizons. I've never seen you before. Hello, that's a cool name. Hey, Opus. Opus is from the coin stacking community. Opus. He's also a real singer. Opus. Check out some of his charts. He sings bomb. Dave Moll, be Marie. Barb. Good to see you, Barb Richardson. Oh, and we try to read chat. There was a comment the other night. Um, nobody reads chat. I can't remember where the hell I was at, but we try to read chat. It's not easy. 
It's Jeff, hard to no, that shift below. kicker does that. Shift kicker does an awesome Jeff, job. Right Jeff there. B, this is a sea sucker. Oh, it's shirt. definitely. Sea sucker? <laughs> it is. It's sea sucker. And I, I dropped the link in chat for see Archie like Silverado. Like He's just trying to get to 100 subs so he can use this community tab. Please stub him up. Thank you. So it's, it's like Sia Sucker? Sia Sucker. Like a lawyer. Hello, Sia Angry sucker. Wreck-It wreck Ralph. So, oh. Krista, Krista. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, so. is, your, is your bum sore? Monkey butt. <laughs> Monkey butt. We already oh. discussed it. You weren't here. You didn't. You were too here. Late. You missed it. So you have to explain baby. what monkey butt is. It, we got one swamp pass one. It was, a, uh, it was a counter strike while you weren't here, AB. Mm. Why do you have that te ad? Technical difficulties. So, AB, well, are you getting that. any weather um, that, you know, from Hurricane Lee coming in? Because I guess this thing, uh oh, we just lost him. Damn it. Damn it. That's going to hit um, Halifax, that area. They're going to get rain in eastern Maine from it. Yeah, that, Is that uh, Nova uh, Scotia? Yeah. I just love Scotia. saying that. Nova Scotia. Blame Canada. Blame well, it's Canada. trending right now um, on Twitter big time. So I tried to pull a couple of these things, but this is what um, potentially they were saying. Is Lee going to continue on this northward movement? Or at some point late Friday night, Saturday, we're going to start seeing a turn toward the uh, east coast of the United States, specifically in the New England. All right, I want to show you how both of these scenarios can happen, a turn, uh, a, a movement to the north or a turn to the northwest. But I want to preface this by saying I don't really believe this north movement. I think there's at least going to be some turn toward the northwest and toward what is he know? as we head towards Saturday. Here's what's going on. Here's our dip in the jet stream. Here is our first piece of the puzzle. By the way, here's the dip in the jet stream. And then here's Lee. Now, the thought is, if you get a due north movement, it's because this dip in the jet stream, as it comes east, as we get toward Wednesday night and Thursday, then pushes Lee to the north. It is then committed, in which case then we would get a landfall where in the Nova Scotia. That is our Nova first Scotia. scenario, more of an eastern track. Now, Nova. it would not be out the sea. It would do new north. And by making that statement, we are now telling you there is going to be a landfall of Hurricane Lee. It's not going to be out the sea. Uh, there's going to be a landfall. This is the way that it's Nova Scotia, maybe the central or western part of Nova Scotia. I don't think it would be pretty far east. It would be the westernmost tip. This is scenario number one. This trough is able to pick up Lee and move it northward. And then most of the impacts would probably be coastal areas, maybe Cape Cod, coastal Maine. There wouldn't be many impacts inland across New England. Unfortunately, though, I don't think this is the most likely scenario because Lee is moving so slowly right now that by the time this trough comes, I don't think Lee is far enough north to be picked up solely by this trough. I do think there will be some influence northward, but I think it's more likely than as we get in the Thursday night and Friday, this trough lifts, leaves Lee behind, and then what do you end up so having? At the end well, of the day, you end up having this dip in the jet right. stream coming across the western United States. You'll start building our high pressure off to the east, and then that makes a pathway to the west. Now, then the question becomes, how far west? Are we going to get a sharp turn or a gradual turn? That would mean more likely in the main. I think it's more of a gradual turn toward the west-northwest, or northwest, I should say, as we get into Saturday and especially Saturday night. Uh, so it sounds uh, like Maine might have to deal with. Well, that. we don't even like those people up there. That's what I said. No, they're, 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 they're crazy, Irish. There. crazy Irish is up there. The gal that Man, did the Diamond opener Lose for the there. there's a bunch of good people. Uh, I'm Lose. sorry, I, I just Lee, Lazarus, Homestead, they're up that way. Well, Gee, I don't want nice anything to happen okay. to anybody from this large community. Wow, yeah, that's freaky. Yeah. Well, speaking of weather, they already have snow on Mount Washington in the presidential range. I saw today looking at the Mount Washington Observatory website. I don't know. This early? This, yeah. No. Well, this is my... That's not normal um, that I'm assuming is what well, you're It looks saying. a lot bigger when you put it up to the camera. Yeah, it's tiny. It's my dog's hat. 
Oh, oh that's cute. That you had. Yeah. I didn't know you had a monkey. I throw her, throw her hat on her, give her a thing, ask for money. Outside of Walmart. Great. It's going to get cold here that in a couple nights. Lows in the low 50s. That cold front's going to affect this hurricane. I would think the cool waters would also affect it because down here in the Gulf, the hot waters make it pump up. So what does cold water do? Well, the, well, the thing is... Four degrees it, in Minnesota tonight, right now. The thing is that all those seafaring people, all the folks who live, you know, near the, near, near the ocean there, yeah, they're tough, right, eh? They're, they're tough. They deal with nor'easters. Yep. Yep. You so basically are, just get your bug out bag or whatever you do to get ready for hurricane up on the east coast, right? I mean, I don't know. I don't I've never I don't have to worry about her. Canada, eh? we pour a beer. Well, most of Call the US coast is gonna be unaffected oh, except for riptides. Those riptide currents can go inland like you know, hundred miles from the storm away from it. It's gonna affect it's, it's gonna be like beach erosion on the east coast. No way. Yeah, I was going to say, they just got to worry about uh, uh, the swells, right? Yes, people swimming, getting caught in a riptide. You get you could get pulled like 100, 200 feet out. Well, who's going to be swimming during this time? There was a guy. Well, you wouldn't, be, you wouldn't believe who does. They got a lot of fools out there. From trying to there's save gonna his be, kid. There's going to be some of those kite surfers. They like to go out in that crap oh. and they get thrown into buildings and they wonder why. I would do it. I know you'd do it. I'd parasailing. Oh, parasailing, oh, yeah. Jay. Oh, yeah. I would so do it. Well, I'm going to show you here what... Oh, shit. So this is what's going on about Lee on TikTok. This is what the kids or the other... You know, this is what's... Take a second, get prepared, do what you got to do. All right. Love you guys. See you soon. Bye. Okay, I'm going to make this video, Wendy.com. You can track this yourself. Today is Wednesday the 6th. I'm going Wednesday. Now, let's go to Thursday. I want y'all to pay attention to something in real time. I want you to keep an eye on that sucker down there. Evening, Thursday evening, Friday morning. I'm doing this off this tracker over here where my cursor is. See that? Friday. Watch. Saturday the 9th. Saturday midday, Saturday evening. Just watch, guys. Sunday the 10th, Sunday midday, Sunday evening, early Monday morning the 11th. What's popping up? Midday Monday evening, early morning Thursday the 12th. Midday Thursday, Thursday evening. 13th on Wednesday. Y'all seeing this? 14th on Thursday. Are y'all seeing this? Thursday. Yes. Yeah, early Friday morning. The 15th. Are y'all seeing this, right? Can you see this? Midday Friday on the 15th. Oh, I see one boob. Now. Boom. Yep. Somebody needs it. And what does it have in its path? Now, where is that some bitch named Lee? It's going right to be super here. Where is Lee? All of these have been joined oh. to give you the biggest storm the East Coast has ever seen. From Florida all the way up to New York, these storms have merged. So for those that coming here to give me negative comments I just proved to you in real time and I advise everybody to start checking this from here on out that watches this video please share this because this could save a lot of lives on the east coast from Florida all the way up to New York please just slide a hand much love peace. Nova Scotia oh, he doesn't he care about them they're nice people there well it's Krista this is a tiktoker it's a young like, he, he, I don't know. This Americans is... think that America is the only place in the world. There's other countries, eh? Well, Canada only has emerges. Yeah, you only yeah. have emerges. 
emerge. emerge. But so one thing's being said about Lee, and now this is what's viral on TikTok, you guys. The youngins are showing it to each other, and I don't know. Something looks sketch. That is that looks like the, a massive storm. I've never seen anything like that. Have you? No. Oh, and I, I mean, the thing is, when when you go from the weatherman to this, it's such a it's such a shift. Like it's not even close. Like, yep. why? I haven't seen this tin since the perfect storm with Marky Mark. Mm. Mm. Storm is coming. Mm-hmm. And they well, keep telling us on TV where it's going to go. And if that hits the East Coast, there won't be any forewarning. So I guess this is our way of showing you what could possibly be happening. So if you're on the East Coast, take heed, right? I mean, I don't know. I've never. Yeah, seen better not catch a cold or need some kind of cough syrup or nothing. Mm, no. Keep an eye on that storm. Nope, you better not yeah, do that because, hey, today, you guys, the FDA um, panel um, rules that your popular decongestants found in cold medicines, they don't work. So Benadryl, Sudafed, and several more drugs face removal from the stores. I'm called bullshit. This was this was from the Gateway Pundit. It was published today on the 12th at 1:40 p.m. Probably on Eastern Standard Time. That must be ABM back. Hang on. Oh, that's shift. Sorry. Every every winter at work, there was a point in time where you lived on Dayquil. Right. You know, you would take Dayquil, go to work. Take Dayquil during the day. Yep. And you made it through. That's right. Because it worked. Because it worked. And you were fine. What I wanted to do is I wanted to shift over to shift so she could, um, she's a nurse. I'm also, but she recently retired and I hadn't been in practice for 12 years. And we talked about it and I just feel like shift. You want to tell everybody about this story? Shift. No, I don't. I don't really want to. No, I don't. We're shift. Uh oh. Uh, I love. Yep. Just give me a second. I'm here. I'm here. I was trying to get to because I got booted. I had to try and get back to the information I had. Tis all. I'm working on it. I want to be able to read it. Oh. <laughs> anyway, the, one of the dr- one of the medications that they're trying to um take off the market is Benadryl. Well, Benadryl and another pharmaceutical, another over-the-counter drug that people are really familiar with, Tylenol PM, are basically the same thing, except for Tylenol PM has acetaminophen in it. But they both contain the same drug. Um, I'm pulling it up right now so I can read it. Di- di- hyphen Dry- Diphenhydramine. Yeah, diphenhydramine. They both contain the exact same amounts as two Benadryls. Yep. So, well, wait, if wait they second. take... Wait a second. I just, they, before, wait, wait one second. So, Scrimshaw Rose says Benadryl helps people with catatomia unfreeze. Mr. Boswell. Um, oh. <laughs> but is, is that true, Shift? Touche. Um, depending on what's causing it, it can, yeah, absolutely. Because what it does is it shrinks the blood cells, mm-hmm. just like any other antihistamine will do. And that's why they give people with migraines and that kind of thing, when they give them that cocktail in the ER because they have such a bad migraine, one of the um, drugs that they put in that cocktail is an antihistamine, so it shrinks the blood vessels. So it eases the headache. Well, I know at the, Same at the, with at the any, crazy, any antihistamine. Mm-hmm. At the crazy hospital, that's what they use. They don't even use all the psychedelic shit anymore to get them. They call it booty juice. They just shoot them up with Benadryl and put them to sleep. Correct. So, but for people that have that suffer, like I do, I'm allergic to bees, and after using an EpiPen. If I still have swelling and that kind of thing, I, I take Benadryl so that I can bear through the itch until it's gone. So it works for me that way. But if they start taking antihistamines like Sudafed and that kind of thing that has the exact same 
milligrams and everything that Benadryl Why and pulling it? the active ingredient in Tylenol PM, one of the active ingredients other than acetaminophen off the shelves. So pretty much you're telling everybody here to get your cold medicine now before it's gone. Why are they exactly. pulling it? Because they say it doesn't work. No, no. Why are they really pulling it? Like uh huh. To make so- people. My my opinion on that is to make people suffer so they cannot sleep, so they cannot rest and get their bodies well. And that's basically what most cold medicines do. What they do is they alleviate the symptoms so you can sleep, so your body can rest. That's what they do. That's what they're made for. So what are they releasing that needs this medication? That's the question. Exactly. Why are they pulling a, a medication off that works? Yeah. Before... According to this article, the Associated Press reported that one of the agency's panels voted unanimously Tuesday against the effectiveness of an ingredient called phenylphrene. As the Daily Mail notes, phenylphrene is the most common active compound compound in over-the-counter drugs like Benadryl, allergy plus congestion, Sudafed PE, and Tylenol cold and flu, severe day and night. The drug is also found in Allegra and Dayquil. And they're saying... Consumers will be forced to switch to behind-the-counter pills or to nasal sprays and drops that contain phenylphrene. These are not currently... That, um, that contain mRNA. Just, well, well, I don't know why they, they just don't fucking come out and say it. Well, what? yeah, they with the, the, with the nasal spray, but okay, so if they take these products off the market, they're saying right here that you're going to have to switch to... Behind the counter pills, you guys. Like so in other words, so and a lot of this has to do with the patent that ran out to be able to create your generic drugs. And most of your allergy medications, they're past their patent right now. And exactly. so they're they're gonna say, Hey, let's pull this, and you're gonna have to get a doctor script. So you'll have to go to the doctor, pay for that, get this script, then you know, you'll have to pay get it through the pharmacy. You won't be able to get anything. I mean, they already started doing it when you had to bring those cards up to the back yep. to the pharmacist. Mm-hmm. It's another way for big pharma to basically take away your choice or right to be able to get an over-the-counter an OTC versus a behind-the-counter. What do you but think, Jeff? My understanding is when they put that stuff behind the counter and you'd have to bring the card up, yep. they did that for methamphetamines. Oh, that, that's yeah. what, great. Because there was so were, much breaking bad all over the United States. Well, they were cooking it and breaking it down. So that I had no problem with. But saying it doesn't work is bullshit. You know, there's something else going on. Mm-hmm. There's something bigger than that. They don't, they don't give a shit. Oh, sorry. They don't care about our well-being. That's been established. They've proven that over. They have proven that over and over again. So, the the bottom line is um, brought to you by Pfizer. Like, um, is this? Uh, but I don't know. I'm suspicious that they're doing this just now in September when the winter flus are going to come and yeah exactly releasing. So they're going to they're going to want you to get that new that new biting and shot and if you can yep if you can get your if you can get your normal cold meds that you use that work for you I would suggest to just buy them now so that you have them before they pull them and yeah, remember, ten, we don't give out any medical or legal advice. No, for stuff for entertainment. Ten, so, no, yeah. It's just my opinion. Ten, it's like your mom, she uses those cough drops, super call or whatever, right? They're going to pull them. Yeah. I, yeah. I spent almost $100 having them drop shipped there, you guys, because I can't find them in the, in the stores. And so I talked about this last night. This popped up. But shift... Um, I want to play Kitty Baba Wawa for a minute. Mischief. 
I'd like to ask your opinion. So for the coming flu season, what are the things that you might stock up on for your personal self? Personal self only. Um, day quill, night quill. Um, I stock up on the, you know, normal cold meds that most people do. Vicks. Tylenol. Yep, Vicks. If you don't have it, yeah. I have a question, you know? Jeff Kicker. Are they using Benadryl to keep people like partially sedated in homes? Um, that I cannot tell you. I don't know. In nursing okay, homes and that kind of thing. I know they do use it in um, the jail system because it actually would like a you know calm people calm down, down and that kind of thing because it's um, non-addictive. So they will use it that way. Just they ask for a friend. Tranquilize him. They use they use it in Jim. They do. They use it in the psych wards. I know this for a fact. Not that I'm in one. <laughs> As I sit here with a pink cat on my head. Um, mm -hmm. Not that I'm in a psych ward, but uh, my wife works in a psych ward. So they rely on Benadryl like crazy. She she wishes they would, they need higher strength stuff, but that's what they do. They, they give them a Benadryl booty shot and calm them down and put them to sleep. Yep. They also so, use it in for migraine, the migraines. When you have a migraine, if you go in. To the ER, they say they're giving you a migraine cocktail. Benadryl is actually one of the drugs that are in that cocktails because it um, shrinks your blood vessels. Mm -hmm. So Also, yeah. you're going to have to go behind the counter now. So that requires you showing and scanning your ID. ID. True. That's racist. It's it just like Agent oh, Jason. Oh, my goodness. doing the same thing. Look who came to the party. Oh, Jeremy. Yeah. Shall What's we start up? this? Sh shall we start this like 30 minutes late now just for you, Jeremy? Like 8.30? Is that okay hey, with you? I, I got home. <laughs> I got church home group on Tuesdays. I just got home and I, I uh, pooped and I showered and now I feel great. Oh, it's always <laughs> the pooping. Every time it's the pooping. Jeremy, uh, look who's calling you out. The guy in the little pink hat. I know. <laughs> Better to do that in the mornings. <laughs> Oops. There it is. So in Canada, you can't get oh, WD forty no more. It's it's not good for you. What? Jim, we're gonna they make just a lot of money. Take away my whole stuff here. No, uh, you're scrolling past some of them. Just just. You can't just get WD forty in Canada. No, anymore? no. The best prime minister ever is pulling them off the shelf. All aerosol sprays, but. Uh, the first one to go is WD-40. I mean, who, WD-40 is used for so many things. Ah, oh, fuck Canada. So, so then, no, no. So then why would you be pulling WD-40 off the shelf? So we just talked Canada. about... Canada. Oops, go ahead. It's a lubricating uh, agent. I found it, Chris. Go ahead. Canada, as of January 1st, 2024, is banning... The WD break clean and Dr. Huxtable's date in a can. My fellow everyman, before you go half cocked off to Ottawa with a crazy idea, dollar in hand, listen, if I just gave you some more taxes, would you leave me the alone? I fail to understand the nature of our arrangement. Them plutocrats in Ottawa are trying to piss you off. That's their job. I don't get too worked up about this kind of thing. I have an overstanding of the situation. According to the Canadian Legislative Gazette, they are putting a cap and trade system on volatile organic compounds, ostensibly to save Mother Earth guy. I try not to get too pissed off about this utter stupidity, but yeah, according to the Canadian Legislative Gazette, as of January 1st, this is going to get way more expensive. -er. Canada... Okay, Christian, go See, ahead. He, he kind of talks like I do, eh? A little so, bit. I was wondering. Yeah, yeah. I like. I I kind of liked it there. Very but... Canadian. Well, he Very got me on the ex expensive. -er. Well, WD forty also takes off like glue, and and WD forty is like it's just there's there's a whole YouTube following of what all the wonders of WD forty. Yep. But what's 
okay, there's an aerosol. So now you've got an aerosol being pulled. You've got um, WD-40 being pulled. You've got Benadryl-type stuff being pulled. What are they doing? What's a common, is there a common denominator? In, yeah, in the, there's got to there's gotta be something because hmm. I, I don't know. It just seems really, really, the timing is very bizarre. I, well, I look, think I'm they're sleeping. trying to piss you guys off. That's what it is. Oh, well, Canada? This, yeah, this it is takes what a lot. It'll look like if you can get a bunch of WD-40 into Canada, they say. This is this is almost like how the uh, the Kennedy family oh, made their fortune. Money. Yeah, we can just start importing it into Canada. We need I'll, a. I'll sneak you some, Krista. Uh, don't worry about it. Yeah, can we use your place as a stash house, Krista? Yeah, Krista. We need yeah. the garage. We need the garage. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We need the garage. I wouldn't take any WD forty and Benadryl at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> don't mix them. Jim. That'd be dumb, wouldn't it? WD it opens up your Benadryl. third eye. But what I are they the doing? W like, seriously, yeah, what, 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 what the heck is going on here? Yeah. What are they really doing? Because this is weird. We can joke about it. We can, we mm -hmm. can, you know, surmise. But there's it's real. The word for the evening, surmise. Uh, but there's the timing is like exactly the same, like same day. No coincidence. I need WD forty to get nuts and bolts off to replace blades on the tiller. And Craig knows just to get the PTO off on a, on a tractor, that's the only way to get that thing off unless you're pouring and use motor oil. WD-40 is like duct tape. Like it, it's there's a there's a million uses for it. Yep. So well, and brake clean. Brake oh cleaner. my God, my son's gone through that stuff. Like yes, I mean okay. And ding 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 ding. Does this bring back anything? In 2017, they started removing. Horse and animal antibiotics from stores. Why? And they mm -hmm. just started it in 2017. We found out why. Mm -hmm. I've remember. You recall. That's what I'm saying. Like there's, there's. We can joke about all this um, that you yeah, want, but something, something's going on here. What? Oh, and I just thought about it, Krista. I need that WD-40 because that's what I run down my line when I. When I fish for walleye, because I sent my whole line because WD forty is mostly fish oil. Ah, oh. exactly. Can we use it too? Yeah, I'm just thinking, what the hell? Because I I always spray my whole reel, my line, and then as it's going out, because I smoke and I'm trying to cover up the cigarette smoke, you know, on the line, you know, because oh shit, that's stupid. Okay. Maybe they're trying to save the walleye. It's all about the walleye. So we're, to get this <laughs> oh, we're gonna blame it on the walleye. Well, what's coming next at WD forty could could stop or help prevent? That's yeah, how, there we're missing the thing is it's a puzzle and we're missing it. So brake cleaner, WD forty and and antihistamines. What what's going stop on? Stop up here? on both of them. Toxic. Well, yeah, to that's aliens. fine. But why what's the you know, it's like one of these things does not look like the other, and yet the timing is exactly the same. And we'll figure it out. Too late. And I don't want to wax my door jams, so they, I'd rather use WD forty. Just you know, spray a rag and wipe my door jams, so that they, you know, so it doesn't creak. Door hinges. Yep. And or the locks. hinges. Hinges. That's what I meant to say. Yep. And yeah, locks. and the locks. I just, you know, like what? I don't want to use wax. That's another one, but that's old. That's okay. Like, that's someone in chat has a question for the guys. Do they um, also use WD forty to clean guns? No. No, because it's horrible. Mm -hmm. That's the worst yeah. thing you okay. use. Yeah. Worst thing I'm, you I'm use. just, I'm just asking the question for mm -hmm. chat. You, you can do it, it, but it's horrible. Yeah, get gun cleaner at Walmart. Much better. Which yeah. will be probably Should... taken off the shelf tomorrow. You're and kidding. how many? Yeah, because we're <laughs> How yeah. many other um, automotive cleaner things? And like, they don't want you to ever be. No gearheads. We're canceling Bicycles. gearheads. We're taking away all your stuff at your local auto parts store so you can't work on your old rigs no more gearheads yeah. we're taking your no <laughs> and also away. no more gas driven vehicles 
Oh, wow. Willard says it works on joint pain also. I didn't even know that, Willard. Yeah, I agree. Mm. There's a, If you YouTube WD-40 uses, there's a million YouTube videos. Hey, uh, Tin, is it time for Mr. DeHunter? Almost. Almost. Before, almost. Almost here. Um, you know, after all of that, I was going to tell you guys, you know, maybe we should have some wine. But guess what? Um, red wine over half a million gallons of red wine or six or a container holding 600,000 gallons of red wine gave way in um, Portugal, La Vira, Portugal. It was on the avert, um, the small town of Laver, yeah, Portugal was on the bird. Oh, here it is right here. Pictures, you guys look at that. That saved wow. a lot of people a lot of headaches, I'm telling you. Oh, my God. I mean, like, I'd say let's have some wine, but. I'm um, waiting to see some Portuguese the, love their wine. Drinking it out of the ditch. Yeah, me too. <laughs> oh, now I lost the whole article. What I would do is I, I'd bring my right. cows and pigs there to drink, drink it. Uh, Anyhow, they animals. had a gigantic vat in one of these you know, winery areas and apparently it ruptured and it was up on the top of the hill, obviously, and it hit the streets and the waterways and people were kind of tripping out like in a biblical sense, like, oh, you know, because it was turning the water there. It went into their drinking water area, you know, their oh. waterway and made the water look red, you know, you know, hint, hint, like in the. Oh, very scripture. Like. Yeah, that's what people were thinking. So anyhow, um, Monday, two holding tanks containing 600,000 gallons of red wine burst, sending a crimson tide of fermented grape juice into the streets and toward a waterway. Videos making the rounds online showed wine flowing through the streets of Lavara and down a steep hill into Salanquio de Barrio, a small town of about 2,000 residents. According to the New York Post, the amount of wine that escaped could have filled an Olympic-sized swimming pool, and the spill tri triggered an environmental alert. Over wine? Elaine says, oh. blood of our children, wine. Wake up. Well, speaking of floods, did you hear what happened in Libya? They had torrential rain and 10,000 people are missing now. I heard Dude, that, Jim. Yes. They all got wiped out to the ocean. Now they're washing back up on the ocean uh, out in Libya. And France is getting beat up with storms. There's major storms everywhere. Spain um france portugal greece everywhere's getting these massive storms and flooding maybe it's the comet. maybe they're flooding tunnels i don't know jim well it's I that time it's no that time. idea it's that time you guys for the show craig the hunter hey i'm cool cats it's time for Craig the Hunter's new segment. Good evening. If I seem a little bit off, I've, I've, I've recently been off the wagon on the WD-40. Okay. <laughs> WD-40. Oops, sorry. There we go. And now for your 10 TV Taco Trucker Tuesday Mostly True News. Mostly true. Somebody write mostly true news in the mix so I can highlight it for a banner. First first one gets it. I could be Craig DeHunter. <laughs> oh, first for the tie, we just matched with the Sia Sucker shirt. I'm a lawyer. And we went with a with the Mahi Mahi Ooh. or Dolphin Fish. Mahi Mahi. Even though it's not a dolphin. B, good job. Thank you, B. This segment is sponsored by 10 TV Gummy Kittens, legal in all 50 states. Please check out our non existent merch store now. <laughs> and now for Baking Jeff B. While touring the Hostess Snack Factory, Jeff B was accidentally cooked like a Twinkie after getting clothing caught on the oven's conveyor belts. He was, however, injected with delicious creamy filling before entering the ovens, and there is some speculation that he might taste pretty good. 
Hope you recover from that. Turkey, uh, sponge cake. He Jeff is a cake. sponge cake, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Jeff, you started with Canada. Are she you calling him a this. Twinkie? It's a Twinkie. He's cute, but oh, he might no. taste delicious. Who stuffed Jeff B? Who stuffed Jeff B? <laughs> Creamy, delicious filming. All right, first story. My two dads. That's right, folks. This was back in March. A single mother in a Brazilian state of Goias went to court to secure child support payments from a deadbeat dad. In the end, she got twice what she bargained for. The child's DNA matched that of a set of identical twins, each of whom being the father is what they came back with. The twin, yes, the twins' attempts to Shrick responsibility were throttled. I love these words. However, when Judge Felipe Luis Peruca ordered that both men pay up and be listed as the youngster's parent, so giving her two dads for the price of one. No, that's fucked up. That don't work. Isn't that right. fucking crazy. Yeah, no. that's no. And both of them denied it, though. So they're both. Speaking from a man <laughs> who paid child support for a long time. Yep, yep. Do you have a twin, Jay? <laughs> Do I have a twin? No. No, but hey. you have twins. No, but you I have, have twins. twins. It goes every <laughs> third generation, I believe, the twin thing. Mm-hmm. Hey, the trick or treat. It's a trick. Run. That's right, kids. If you're over the age of 12 and headed outdoor knocking on Halloween in Chesapeake, Virginia, you could be in for more than a trick, more of a trick than a treat. Since 1970, the town has had a law that penalizes teenagers, trick-or-treaters. Offenders could receive a fine of between $25 and $100 or even face jail time. They really, they don't like uh, teenage uh, trick or treaters. Wow. Residents, re- residents needn't get spooked. No one has ever been arrested under this law, which aims to deter teens from the crime of on Halloween. So kids, just get out there. Don't worry about it. They've never arrested anybody on it. But they seem cool. to bring up all these old laws now and arresting people on RICO laws. And they were just saying. And that's what's going to come back to get you. Yeah. You're be like, Damn it, why did I go trick or treating that night? That's right. Told you. Trafficking. Still, after a viral parody video earned the, the policy bad press, the town said in March that it will revise the rule. Meanwhile, the true Halloween criminals continue to go free. The people who hand out raisins as candies. That's the true criminals. And <laughs> Here's an apple, kid. Uh oh. I might trigger Canada with this one. The last Canadian charged with witchcraft. Whoa. That's right. In Timmins, Ontario, resident Tiffany Butch became the final person to be charged under Canada's anti witchcraft law last December, just days before the regulation was due to be taken off of the books. Butch, who considers herself a psychic, remains accused of accepting payment in exchange for her using her spiritual powers to protect her clients from danger. Butch said she's innocent and predicts winning her case. (laughs) Predicts winning her case. (laughs) That's good. And, uh, <laughs> I'm a little late, sorry. Jay, you all right? Mm-hmm. All right, sorry. Yeah. Uh, Got oh, it late. This is, uh, I want to share this one. This is the best phone prank of all time. Unless you're this, uh, this, this dad here. The lead up to Chris Ferry's 62nd birthday this March was bizarre. Instead of just notes from family and friends, Ferry estimates the New Jersey insurance agent received 250,000 calls and texts from around the world. That's right. His bonehead sons, Chris and Michael, had bought a billboard space in Atlantic City and posted, wish my dad a happy birthday, along with his phone number. (laughs) It went viral, of course, and 
constant calls from as far away as Kenya. Hey, isn't that where that guy's from? Kenya? <laughs> you know, the hot dog eater. <laughs> right. <laughs> tied, tied up his phone line for days. Fairy got a new number. No words on if he's shared it with his two bonehead sons. And this concludes your Tin TV Taco Trucker Tuesday Mostly True News. And uh, I just want to say, I just love how you're wearing your hair these days. And I think it looks good on you, dear. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Hey, yeah, absolutely. And I like that haircut. And we didn't, did we see a tie tonight? Or is there a tie on? Oh, yeah, yeah. I already did the tie it's report. Like it's a mahi mahi. It's oh, mahi-mahi. sorry. I must have been asleep. But you didn't get a haircut today. Yeah, I had to go get yeah, I had to go get a haircut. It was getting out of control and it's so hot here. Yeah. You don't want it to get caught in the hydraulics of the tractor. And I'm wearing a Thea Sucker shirt tonight. Like a sure. lawyer. A Thea Sucker? Like a lawyer. <laughs> yes, Jim. What's up? No, that was me. I was saying uh, oh. you got some badass lightning behind you. Do I really? Yeah, there's some lightning going off in the distance. Oh, cool. Oh yeah, look at it. Yep, Jeremy's right. Cool. Well, I'll lean back and we'll watch the show. Don't, don't, don't sit underneath a, your uh, umbrella. Yeah, or have a oh, fishing I pole. Just, I just hold the pole, the American flag. America. 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 Yeah. America. What else going on, Tim? Well, Jim's not frozen. Not yeah, yet. I tried no. to pull up Mr. Boswell article and it's spinning, so I didn't know if you could. I could, I could read it. This has to do with what I talked about Sunday night. How there's a deal. Okay, one of the most important international agreements in modern history is being secretly negotiated behind the scenes. And once it is publicly announced, it could fundamentally change the geography of the Middle East. Okay, I'm going to get to the heart of the story. Camera one. Stick around. Okay, so it has to do with the relations between Saudi Arabia and Israel. The Saudis want to achieve some sort of diplomatic breakthrough with for the Palestinians. They won't be an independent Palestinian state because of Netanyahu. But the Saudis have floated another plan and that might be acceptable to Netanyahu's government. It will result in a historic division of the Holy Land. Um, the United States is the mediator for these negotiations. It is being reported that the Biden administration wants to get an agreement finalized before the end of the first quarter of next year. Basically, they're going to... It's an extension of what I said Sunday. They basically want to split Israel um, and the part that the Palestinians get on the West Bank will be overseen by the Jordanian government. And another story I want to get to is um, what's going on in my area with the Cavalcante guy. It wasn't reported on TV or the news, but I heard it on Rugger Puck Radio. The house he broke into, he stole a Ruger 1022 semi-automatic. Damn, great gun. I mean, it is. And they said on the news the gun had a scope and a flashlight. More than likely, it has a tactical weapons light like I have in my shotgun, a stream like TLR1. With one of those in the dark, you can sight a gun 300 feet. And it, people in Pennsylvania use those for coyote. You can't shoot deer in the dark, but you can shoot coyote. My thinking is the guy probably has a red dot scope on it. If, if you're trying to use a, a light on a gun in the dark, a telescopic scope is useless because you don't have a, enough illumination. Now, Jim, the guy keeps getting past the, the blockades, aren't they? Didn't they yep. just took a van of some sort or something like that? Well, they've so, had 500 p- people um, lo- looking for the guy. My thinking is he's eventually going to succumb to thirst and hunger because when he broke into somebody's house, he took some f- clothing one time. And they said there was some food and water missing. But look how much food and water the guy is going to need to keep going like this. The fact that he's armed now gives him permission to shoot him. Well, one of your neighbors also shot at him, right? Well, the guy that he stole the gun from, that guy shot at him. him. Where he's at now is probably 30 miles from me. He was in northern Chester County. When he gets into Berks County, that's even more rural than Chester County. Berks County has the um, city of Reading, but then you get north of that, it's the mountains. 
Yeah, somebody, um, Grace Johnson mentioned on her video that she heard he was headed to New York City. This mm. just got released, Mr. Boswell, on Twitter on the manhunt, so I'll blow it up. Okay. And I'll just... I'll That's just, right, Elaine. Dog the bounty I, hunter's going to get him. This oh, is yeah, somebody, gonna, yeah. somebody's property. That's that's by you, Mr. Boswell. That that's like 25, 30 miles though. Okay. Well, that's still close. He's not gonna come here. And my thinking is the police, okay, the prison he was in. If I was in charge of the investigation, I hope they have gone through all the visitor logs. The thing they do is to find out all the people that he's been in contact then with. And the thing I don't know is, in Pennsylvania, can you have a cell phone in prison? If you had a cell phone in prison, um, find out who all the people were contacted. If somebody, not that I want to give advice on how to do a successful prison escape on 10 TV, but if somebody's going to break out of prison, they got to have people on the outside ready to get them, help them, take them away. Mr. Bake them Boswell, a cake. how come yeah. they didn't look in that hot tub right is, there? Is it... Oh, that's I'm searching for him. You're right. Wow. He could be in that. You're right. The cover's yeah, on. And they just walked right by that. And this is somebody that filmed this right out their backyard in that area. And it just got posted 48 minutes ago. And, and, and people, I heard on, I saw on TV, they interviewed a few people in the area. People are, are alarmed. So there's people out there that don't have um, firearms and they don't have guard dogs. Where somebody could just come in their house and what are they going to do? They're helpless. Well, that's an area where they live. The door's unlocked. You didn't have yeah. to worry about this stuff. There's a lot of these guys. Look, I didn't but even not, count. Not them. one's looked in the hot tub, though. You're right. Not, they haven't yeah, seen why didn't they right. look in the hot tub? That, that's the first place there. Let's Plus, see. the guy being outside all night, sleeping outside. Okay, you get due in the morning now. That guy's being outside 24 hours a day. His clothing is going to get kind of wet just being outside overnight. Unless he has a tent. My he daddy has get, a tent. He might this get COVID. is federal agents gathering for the nighttime search in South Co Coventry Township. Is that by you? Well, that's in the next county. That's in Chester County. This, the Schuylkill River separates Montgomery County, where I am, from Chester County. Like I said, he's getting close to Berks County. So chances are he's not going to be in your area is what you're saying. No, he's right? not going to be in my area. Okay, well, that's good to know. But they were concerned he was headed um, north of us like a week ago. He has connections with people in Warriors Ford. And Warriors Ford is north of Collegeville on Ridge Pike. Oh, CCK, and it's $25,000 now reward. This is Ariel footage of searches focusing on the farming buildings in Chester County. Looks yeah, like Chester it. County, the average farm, there are people there that bought farms like a hundred acres and up, and they got the, the county to pay the development rights. And some of these people have taken these old farmhouses and turned them into huge estates. When the rich move out to By the adding country. Oil. But then there's a lot of Pennsylvania Dutch people up there. Back in 2005, we got our last German shepherd up there. there was, they had, these people had a dairy farm with 200 acres. It, it, it's real diversified. You have wealthy people up there. You have Dutch people that are living almost like the Amish, where they make all their own clothing. And they go to bed after you know sundown and try to use as little electricity as possible. The Yoders. They're similar to Amish people. Mennonite, right? Correct? Yep, Mennonite. Mennonite. Yep. Well, I'm Mennonite, just, but not ladies of the evening. I'm surprised he's been on the loose this long. <laughs> it's amazing. Well, Tim, several times when I was a kid, because um, my where I grew up as a kid is just a few miles from here, we have a state prison, Greatest Ford State Prison. And there were a few times when I was a kid where it was on the news and alert that a prisoner escaped, but they always found a prisoner within a few days. 
This, this guy's very... somebody special. I mean, I watched him on Slippy. the TikTok video where he crawled right up the wall and then. It's, yeah, with his hands in the front and his feet in the back. Yeah, and I'm like, and I told Jay, what chances it's a super soldier dude or something. I, me and I my thought, super soldiers. Even though he's a little guy, he's got to be in pretty good physical condition to do that. Yeah, he's five foot tall. Yeah, he's well, like five before, foot. It's going to get them. How long could you go without cold water? When I'm outside working, I have a half gallon water jug with a block of ice in it. I need a drink of water every hour. This guy is you, on the move. You know the what they survive hour, off of, Jim? The, what? the the dew you were talking about, uh, because down in South Texas, they would come across the deer leases and they had one guy survived off of the dew of the fence post to get water. Whoa. And then we had to pay for him to be in the hospital for six months. With our hey, but how much are you going to get? <laughs> and there's no come on, man. Hey, AB, oh, he's probably... back. He's back. Finally. There, there aren't any clean bodies of water. To drink out of up there. If that guy drank water there, he'd get the runs. Now, if he was up in the Appalachian Mountains and they were to look, there's places where water comes out of rocks and it's cold spring Clean water. Clean spring water, you're right. But he but might that's have how those I survived my friends hiking back in the 80s on the Appalachian Trail. But Jim, he might have that uh, immunity to parasites like they all do south of the border. They can drink mm -hmm. the water down there and not get sick, whereas we get sick. Well, they can just tune into his frequency since he's been boosted and all that good stuff, and they track him down like that. Just dial the you frequency the lights. in. The lights. Yeah, 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 yeah. Purple lights. Purple lights. Right behind Jay's head, purple lights. I just saw it. Oh, by the way, Jeff B. had a comment in there about a uh, something happening overseas. Over there. Um, Tune, you need to thank the sponsor. And uh, check private chat for a sec. Oh yeah, shipyard was hit right and right. Like if I think it's the one he's talking about, it's like 400 meters from Romania. If that's the same shipyard he's talking about. I think that we all froze. No. <laughs> Signal's bad. Listen, I was I was been fighting it the whole time. Once I got off where I got loaded at, it's kind of up on the starting point of the headed up towards the mountains. Once I came back down to flatland, I was able to get back on again. But I guess the ball chains at me. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it's getting some lightning. I just saw. Mm, we're probably getting a storm. It seems like it's off in the distance. Yeah, I see it. Is that heat What's... lightning, though? You know how we get that when it's very hot? No, it's actually not too bad out here right now. Oh, all right. Yeah, it's... I think we're just well, getting, a, getting a storm I'd... coming in. I'd like to take this moment to thank the sponsor of this channel, God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father, for bringing us together on another Taco Trucker Tuesday and bringing in A.B. even though he couldn't connect. I don't know what's going on, Father. None of us do. You do. So we're putting everything in our faith into you because we have no fear. Please protect our children, our churches, and our Bibles. Please protect our enemies, people that don't like us. Just a lot's going on, Father. So please reach down and give everybody a hug right now. This isn't my normal prayer, God. And you know I'm going through a lot, and a lot of people are too. So just give us all hugs. In Jesus' name, everything's going to be done. Yeah. In Jesus' oh, name. Amen. Amen. Sorry, Amen. Guys. Amen. Sorry, guys. I'm just having a hard time tonight. Like, it's all right. It's all right. Yeah, you know, a lot's going on, and everything's coming out of so fast and so fast. And I don't know. I don't know. I said this two, three years ago. This was going to start working on people mentally and financially. And look what's going on. That's it. It really is. So, Buckle up, buttercups. <laughs> yeah, the stock market, a lot, a lot of stuff's staying down. And, and that autos, the auto worker strike could happen. Ooh. 
Shit's going to get worse before it gets better. Boy, Jeremy, when they said that, they sure weren't screwing around, were they? I mean, good Mm. grief. They told us the plan, and it is going exactly like the plan. (laughs) Watch them them say there's some ingredient and talk because they got to take off the market. What? No, we should. uh, uh, That that would be worse. Don't even tacos? Somebody cut his mic off. I'm not <laughs> hearing that oh shit. Oh my god. He just it. Oh my. Yeah. You can't mess with tacos. No. That's that right <laughs> there. That's you that done. start a civil war. Yes. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. Hey, lightning in the background. Let's go over to Telegram and join Planet Neutral and Tinfoil TV on Telegram. Oh, that was cool. Um also, Tinfoil TV 2 on YouTube. Just subscribe to it if you can. Leave a comment just in case this one goes down. There's Tin. Oh, no. Hold on. Tin TV at myyahoo.com, right? Correct. Yes. Tin TV at myyahoo.com. Yahoo. I can't believe you got it, Jim. Yeah, send tin, send tin shitloads of messages. She loves it. Why, it why am I posting? Because uh, you're important. Yeah. Well, just look. Know. I always say this to all the vets out there. Thank you very much. Yep, yeah, appreciate you and all the opos and ambulance workers and all the good folks out there. The hell with the truck drivers. We're a bunch of ass clowns anyway. Anything else? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Eat more chicken, uh, buy me some lemons, coffee, hit up Krista's PayPal for chicken nuggies, OU812. Uh, shit, I got all kinds. We're going for another hour. <laughs> He's got a bunch. Step yeah. Three. And please, folks, right after the show, after the show, please leave a comment with hearts in it. And it just helps the algorithm, but also like and share the show with your family and friends because we love being here for y'all cheer up everything's going to be okay jeff you're a tasty twinkie a tasty twinkie tasty. hey <laughs> hey don't forget to comment you can comment by saying monkey butt or swamp ass and you'll get <laughs> you'll get a both, bonus both bonus and Mr. Boswell, um, I reposted your video on the community page, and I wanted to thank you for your video. And um, everybody, go over and check it out, right? Right, Mr. Boswell. And my Thank message is, my message is: treat people the way you want them to treat you. Do unto yeah. others the golden rule. Exactly. And thanks for having me on the show, night ten. Thank you, Mr. Boswell. Get me. Buttered sausage. Let's talk about buttered sausage. What it does, what it's doing. Buttered sausage. <laughs> you like a little mustard on your sausage biscuit? Butter. Little WD forty on that biscuit. Oh, I like. Hey, bless not stress, guys. Have a good night. <laughs> Don't forget to take your Benadryl. Dilly dilly. Dilly dilly, and we'll see you tomorrow night. And don't forget to go go join uh, Craig. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, because we come and we'll, we show up over there when when Tin House. Yeah, that guy right there. Yeah, that guy right, 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 right there. there. Right. Help, just just type into the search bar at Craig the Hunter, just like it says right there, and it'll bring you right there. Wow, look at that. It's easy to find my channel. I'm the only Mr. Boswell. There's other no, Boswell. No, you're not, Jim. I found a bunch of fakers. There's a bunch of uh, there's a bunch of Boswells. <laughs> it's Mr. Boswell, but and you are the only Mr. Boswell. But you are our Mr. Boswell. Yeah. Yeah. And Craig and you, and Mr. Boswell, are going on Friday or Saturday night. Uh, you know, we don't know, Jim. We'll, okay. We'll when we get down the road, and possibly Mondays in the Mo- future. Yeah, possibly. Yes. Yeah, yeah, we're looking at most Craig. definitely. Yeah, so we will do Sunday. Craig and Mr. Boswell will do Monday. And yeah, we're going to mix it up, you guys. We're going to jump around to each other's channels. Cause, is, yeah. that, is, that, is that a part of my new contract? Yeah. That, it's, am I, it, it's in the disclaimer part in the bottom with the triple asterisk. Okay. 
yeah, that fine, for, fine, that really fine, fine, fine print. Yeah, look for your CC copy. So we okay. will see you guys tomorrow night, 8 o'clock. Thanks, everybody, for showing up. Shout out to everybody in chat, because if you guys didn't come, then um, I don't know. We'd be talking to ourselves. Eat more chicken. I'm no, headed to the casino. Bitches. Come on, I'm headed to the casino. Just saying. Uh -oh. Let's do this. As I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I take a 